Uh, <laughs> uh, say good morning, uh, good morning, brother Roy. Good morning, brother. Good morning. Beautiful morning here out there. The sun is popping up and uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Okay. So uh, I I I I don't know. Do we have time later? Um, uh, 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 I'm I still quite miss those time where you explain the the lightweight products to us using the gene <laughs> for the history part by part. I think th they will want it to, to listen from you. I think you will okay. get some more history about the the, the product. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, let us start a bit of conversation first, okay? Sure. So, Go ahead. Time, uh, when, when Brother Roy introduced me, uh, he always said he first met me in Singapore on the product launching. I, actually, yes. I actually we met even earlier than that. Four months. I forget ago. that one. <laughs> yeah. So we meet in KL. Remember with uh, Dr. Philip and uh, Ibu Ira? I, Ibu Ira, Sister Ira? Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah I was there. And uh, I was late, and then you patched me with Eon, and at the moment I uh, uh, I can feel this product is different, and what amazed me the most is my upline, Mister Look. <laughs> Mister Look, he said, "I I get so energetic. I don't feel like sleeping." He said, "Oh my God, this product uh, is serious," <laughs> and it takes about one year later before I really go on the business. <laughs> Well, it's almost the same with me, uh, Brother Lee. Yeah. In the very beginning, when I first tried, you know, I, I kind of like it. You know, I joined, I buy a lot. Yeah. I spent at least $10,000 buying it to make my mom healthier. Mm. Because my mom at that time was 74, I think 75. And she had 12 medication in her body. Mm. And she was very unhealthy. Mm. Uh, and she's been in medication for the longest time of her life. I remember when I was still in high school, she's already popping pills. <laughs> and she have high blood pressure, cholesterol, uric acid, uh, vertigo. She also have rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis. I mean, you name it, she have it all. <laughs> okay. I know, tell me about it. So uh, slowly but surely, uh, you know, being an electrical engineer and, you know, I, I specialize in electromagnetic robotic and aerospace. I was like curious. I, I'm very good at my subject. You know, that's why uh, the electromagnetic part make me so curious. I went down to La Jolla and interviewed David Smith. I said, David, uh, I do understand the electromagnetic part of a machine. I do understand the electromagnetic part uh, of the electrical circuit. Uh, but I believe this is the electromagnetic part of our body. Can you a little bit explain more? So, you know, uh, from there on, David and I became friends. I came down to La Jolla at that time, not even in San Diego, which is a little bit north of San Diego. And, you know, I came uh, down there almost every Thursday. So I sacrificed, sacrificed one out of my five working day, then Saturday, I got to come earlier and work. But, you know, I, I learn, learn and learn and learn. And lo and behold, uh, the meeting room over there was only 30, 25 people. If you max it out, maybe 35 people. And before long, the meeting room was full. And David Smith opened the accounting department and he opened it up for a meeting room. It's supposed to hold like 80 people but we pack it to about 120 some people. And then we get bigger and bigger and life we've moved to a bigger office. Oh. And then he moved again to where we are right now. You know, we have our own building, beautiful and big. And I uh, hope all of you guys know that we are branching out to Utah. We have yeah, our yeah. extension office in Utah where Emily, Ryan, and a yeah. couple other people were there. And the reason they branch out to Utah because Utah is pretty much the mecca of multi-level marketing. You know, everybody, Mango, Sango, Tango, Django, Congo, everybody is there, right? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, we want to make sure that our presence is there as well. Mm. And we are growing. We are growing quite tremendously, uh, leap by bound and bound and we are growing amazingly in Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, Singapore, and Southeast Asia. Mm. I would say about five years ago, uh, Europe 
was the was really rocking and rolling. Germany was rocking and rolling. My team in Denmark is the number one country in the world. Mm, mm. Japan was not even included anything <laughs> until X39. Yeah, yeah, until X39. So my power leg is in Europe, which is Denmark, Norway, and all that kind of country. And uh, since X39, you know, we ship everything and move everything to Asia. And uh, it looks like Asia is going to be my power leg. So, <laughs> <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. But, you know, I'm counting my blessing. I max out every week in the commission part. And then I'm just matching. Unfortunately, I do not match you. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's okay. It's okay. Because sometimes you find your eagle warrior or your dragon warrior down there. You just have to cherry pick them and you want to work with, with them. Just like when, you know, I'm spending time with you and, and impart, impart what you are to the person that you're dealing with. And when they feel it, they see it. Look what happened to you, Brother Lee. Woo! You <laughs> are amazing. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so that is uh, how I got started, Brother Lee. Yeah. When you, when, when you, when you first meet life with, uh, and when you first met Debbie Smith, uh, maybe you can share with us, how, how do you think about this person? How do you think about this David when you first met him and up okay. to now about choking? <laughs> I, I, I think these are some, something hidden stories that, that no one tell us, but we are very interested. Yes, yes, yes. Way back then, LiveWave was a quiet company. And actually, uh, we were swindled in the credit card. I think it was Russia, Brazil, Nigeria, and some other countries uh, that is bad in swindling people. So we were somehow in kind of financial problem. So when Chuck Michael approached me, uh, I was not interested to build a business, right? But when he put the patch, supposed to be on stomach 36, but he did not put it in there. He put it way low, like stomach 38, and the other one was stomach 40. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Jack Michael is an Omeridian point. But, you know, I, I had it around lunchtime because he picked me up uh, at my Hummer dealership. I had uh, the big Hummer, uh, very gorgeous, very stylish. I just love it. Uh, better than my Mercedes Benz because... When I pick up somebody at the airport with a car, everybody's like, brother, Roy, you have a tank. You know? <laughs> and everybody want to drive my, my Hummer. And uh, so it was the fun part, I guess. It was so much fun that I'm enjoying that car. And uh, Chuck picked me up from the dealership because I just missed my shuttle. So when he picked me up, we went for lunch. So he patched me the first day. I play badminton instead of only two or three times. I was 45 years old by the time. And, you know, if I play two or three times on Monday night, Tuesday, I barely can walk. I go home in pain. I sleep in the garage because it was so much painful. Then uh, later on, I have to, uh, you know, literally my son bring my pillow and my, my blanket. I sleep in the garage in the morning by six o'clock, my bath. My body was losing a little bit and I woke up and then take a shower and drive my kids to school. Lo and behold, uh, after I had my first experience, uh, I asked thousands of questions to Chuck Michael. And he's like, I don't, why you ask so many questions, right? Well, I guess my engineering mind is just could not believe what happened to my body. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it was like uh, I used to be in pain. And that first night that I used the patch, I used to play two or three games, right? That night I played eight games. And the last two games I played single. At 45 years old, playing single at that level is mission impossible. But I did it, I played it, and I had a good, good time. And then on the way back, my son said, Daddy, I think you overdid it. But today you were different. You reached for every ball. The ball that usually you don't want to reach, you reach. You even split. I was like, yeah, I think you're right, Josh. I think I overdid it tonight. So I'm going to sleep in my garage again. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. So we parked the car, just get out, pick all the bags. And then I have no pain. I get up from my car. 
and walk toward the garage, I mean, toward the hallway inside toward the garage and then go to the room, right? Go to the, to the living room. And then Josh was like, Daddy, you can walk. I said, you know what, Josh? I think these little sticker have a lot of things to do with my body. So the next morning I called Chuck, I said, Chuck, I asked him so many questions. So you know what, Roy? I'm gonna set up a point with you to meet David Schmidt. I said, like, who's the dude? So I met the dude, I met David Schmidt. He, we drive there. And then, you know, I still have my notes when I interview him. And it's been a blessing because I learned so much from this guy. Uh, you know, in my line of work, I deal with PhD every day. You know, uh, I have Dr. Ho, Dr. Lan, Dr. Uh, you know, this guy is very smart. He got three PhD, but sometimes it's hard to talk to him because the way he thinks is a little bit weird. But with David, you know, he is way beyond all this PhD and you can talk to him like a normal person. And uh, he is so humble very knowledgeable about everything. I even talked to, to him about my electromagnetic and he understand electromagnetic, I guess, because of part of the body too. And then I'm start, <clears throat> he was guiding me to read about the body electric by Dr. Baker. And I read that book. I said, hmm, okay, I got it. So I understanding more and more and I became more serious. And I think after a couple of years, I'm start recruiting. When I start recruiting, uh, my organization is start moving quite rapidly. Actually, my first year I make about a hundred thousand, which is not bad, and then the second year two hundred thousand and so forth. And uh, last year was, of course, big money. I don't think I can mention it here, but brother Lee saw what kind of money, <laughs> it's crazy money, insane. It's insane. Uh, you cannot be the smartest engineer in the whole building and make that kind of money. Let me put it that way. Yeah. And Brother Lee, what I'm talking about. And it's just unbelievable. So my perception about David Schmidt is he's a beyond genius because I met so many professors each and every day I talk to them. You know, I'm handling uh, their situation, their problem or whatever uh, condition that he might have. And then we are learning and learning and learning. And at one point in time, I said, my goodness, this guy is beyond smart. This is too smart. And I believe readily he will win one of the Nobel Prize, especially when he start building that island that will infuse oxygen to our world where, you know, we can live more healthier. And uh, right now our oxygen... <laughs> Uh, tank up there is, I think it's only like two or three percent. Uh, and that's why we do not live to a thousand years like during Noah art, but uh, too much uh, industrial pollution. But mm -hmm. if we are able to produce more plankton and infuse our oxygen, and I think David's going to get that, that beautiful Nobel Prize. I, I do believe that. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah, and, and you see, if he started to do all these things, I, I don't think this can be monetized to make money because the oxygen is to be distributed. <laughs> so, so from that perspective, how, how do you tell about the character of Mr. David? Uh, he really loves to help people. He has a golden heart. Hmm. Uh, since day one I joined until today, I never miss a paycheck. Hmm. Even during trouble time, somehow he always pay me, right? So I know accounting wise, company is amazing. Hmm. Uh, he appreciate his leaders. Yeah. There are many, many times that uh, I did so many crazy things <laughs> that I became the advisory board of the company. <laughs> Uh, and the way he introduced me is a little bit scary. I think I better not mention it here. Okay, come, 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 come. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, but it was fun. It was fun because uh, he introduced me. Uh, you know, I'm helping a lot of people. I am uh, basically raising people from their sickness 
So he introduced me to the advisory board. And I cannot use that word. It's dangerous because it's being recorded too. <laughs> 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 yeah. And uh, so I become the advisory board because every week, Chuck Michael always, oh, let me tell you what happened to me. Roy and I is doing this. Roy is doing this. Roy is doing that. Da, 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 da. So after so many weeks, uh, he tell the advisory board about the story of Roy Sergiano. And it's like, why don't we bring him to become the advisory board? And that's why I'm in the advisory board. And I was in the global mastermind. And now I'm together with you in the global mastermind of Asia. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's, it's quite amazing. And I'm very excited and happy. So David have this personality that is thinking outside the box, outside the box, outside the box, mm. very generous, very generous, very helpful. And uh, in the very beginning of my career in LiveWave was, was just a blessing. was just a blessing because uh, he and I worked together. David Smith and me traveled two weeks together to Asia. We climbed the Borobudur mountain uh, with Brother Aloysius. Good morning. Oh, good evening, Brother Aloysius. <laughs> Hello, Brother Aroy. Yeah. We climbed all the way up to the Borobudur Chandi, yeah, the temple of Borobudur. Uh, I almost collapsed the whole temple because we were running all the way up. But the stairs are not the same distance. So on the last stairs, it was higher. So I missed it. So I jumped. And I jump over, almost overshoot to the other side. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, but thank God, uh, I still have my reflexes. So I was able to save myself. Otherwise I'll be rolling down like a bowling ball all the way down. <laughs> that would be a little bit scary. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of fun together. We travel Indonesia. We're supposed to go to Bali, but by the time we landed, uh, we got together. And then David said, Roy, there is an explosion. The mountain Agung, Agung Mountain, yeah, uh, Gunung Agung, just erupted. And uh, so are we going to go there? Because I already planned that we're going to have meeting, we're going to have leadership meeting and all that. And I said, let's go, David. And then David, well, let me look first. And he said, are you sure? Because, you know, the, you know, when you have an eruption like that, it's very dangerous for our lung because our lung will be breathing. You know, he's a scientist. And he gave me all the detail. I was like, okay, okay. So that's why we went to Borobudur Mountain with Brother Aloysius uh, together with our team. We had a lot of fun. And, you know, David and I, we, we were working together great. And we traveled the world. I was in Europe with him also. I was in Africa with David. I mean, I do not know why I am in Africa, but I was in Africa club playing guitar and recruiting at the same time. So we had a lot of crazy fun, and uh, it's been a blessing to know him, literally. Awesome, awesome. I, 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 uh, uh, today, I, I just watched his replay about the Eon uh, presentation. Oh, yeah. I, sometimes I just can't imagine 10 years ago can make this kind of presentation, which mm -hmm. even the scientists of today, let's say in Malaysia, and the doctors in Malaysia, they can't even comprehend. They talk about telomeres, talk about accumulated inflammation or sedative stress <laughs> long before. I oh, know. That is crazy. Uh, just for your information, that we are about 15 years ahead of Stanford Medical Research when it comes to stem cells. Wow. I think for medical research that we are 15 years ahead of Stanford, that says something about our technology. You know, wow. We are second to none. Nobody has it in the world. And until today, you have no idea how many people want to recruit me to all that company. The mango, the sango, the tango, the Django, the Congo, the dango, everybody want to recruit me. So yeah. I said, I don't think so because you don't have a product like I do. And many, 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 many times I recruit them into ours, including a couple of your uplines. Right? Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. in a different company. So yeah. I said, does your company work like this? And they realize that they don't have a product like ours, period. I even met some people in Indonesia that have some necklace that they hang. They have something on their bracelet. I mean, like we compare it, you know, one pack, 
with whatever product you have <laughs> we blow them off the water. We really blow them off the water. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the Philippines, I put ten thousand uh, dollars cash, and I was bidding with with the medical doctor who specializing in pain. I said, doctor, if you can beat me reducing pain with your needle, with your herb, with your pill, with whatever, I give you ten thousand dollars. I said, crispy, crispy went ten thousand dollars. I should have taken that pick. I think I did, but that was a long time ago. Don't right. worry. I think I will do one in Malaysia also. <laughs> I put 20,000. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. We blow the doctor out of the water. Brother Aloysius, maybe remember, we went to, what city was that? Oh, this doctor was so arrogant. And then we found out this the doctor, I think we were in Solo, Brother Aloy. Either Solo yeah. or somewhere. Solo, right? Yeah. The doctor was so ar arrogant. And... <laughs> I was telling him that our technology is better than whatever you know that you have learned for so many years. Let me show it to you. And he actually is paralyzed already. I didn't know that until he stood up. And then when he stood up, he barely can walk. And then by the time I put, you know, Aeon and Ice Wave on kidney one, he start walking without holding. Usually he walk with holding everything. And then he met his son, who's also a medical doctor that practice on the other side of the building. The son said, Daddy, you're not wearing your crutches. So everybody was shocked. See, <laughs> this is how amazing our technology is. Yeah. Second, literally to none. Unbelievable. Yeah. Right. We love okay. it. Since, since we talk about Eon and ISO, uh, would you mind to, 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 to use your way to explain all the product of LifeWave? So maybe mm -hmm. since the very beginning, so sl slowly let all those new members know. Yeah. All right, sure. Well, Aeon first came out in 2011. This is the day that Rick DeLuca uh, signed up as a full-time and opened an office that's been going on for 10 years because I was able to remove his pain for 19 years. With ice wave alone, I reduced it from 10 to two. He was able to reach his hand, but there are still tingle. By the time I put A on and ice wave, his pain went down to zero. And then he signed up again and you know he, he built life wave and you guys know who Rick DeLuca is. I was in Malaysia with him too, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a fun guy to be with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fun guy and funny guy. So uh, LiveWave is actually a product that will reduce your stress. It will reduce your inflammation. When in 2012, I was in the hospital because of septicemia, I almost died. It's crazy, I almost died because of septicemia. And uh, there are four other people in the hospital that have the same disease with less deadly bacteria. Mine was Klebsiella, which is the deadliest of the deadliest. <clears throat> the other four died. And usually people who are 50 years old and got uh, septicemia, mo most people died. But somehow I was lucky enough that I still alive. <laughs> Glad that you are alive. <laughs> <laughs> that was me, well, not me. And with this alone, I was able to reduce all the inflammation in my body. I used 32 patch in one day in one body. Okay, it's mm -hmm. crazy. Sorry, Be how many? 32. 32 patches? Uh? Patches. Uh? In a day? Uh? In a day. Six out of my 12 organ doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost dead. I'm like one third, two third down the, the ground already. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so anyway, I'm using this and after the operation, my leg was swollen and I put five of this on this side. And one, one night, the next morning, uh, Dr. Thomas came to see me in my hospital room and it's already uh, normal on this side of the leg. So I put another five on this side. The next morning, both sides are normal. So the doctor asked me all kinds of questions like, what is this, this and that, right? I said, doctor, this is very hard to explain and I don't feel good, I was so sick. But let me give you one of these for you. So I gave one pack to him 
and he start patching his patient and he see the same thing. All inflammation went down. So I recruit my doctor to become a diamond because I don't have time to explain what is glutathione, what is energy and what is ice wave. He bought all diamond Aeon, okay? And he's using it for all his patients. It's crazy, but it works. So lo and behold, Aeon became one of my favorite product because I know everybody who's above 25, we are start getting old. I'm sorry, I have to bring you the bad news. We are getting old, even at Jin Long's age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I right? grew up years old already. <laughs> there you go. But, uh, you know, one thing I like about uh, life technology is, you know, we live in the world for a little while, right? Uh, just a couple of flicker. But now with these patches, you have this extra flicker and we can live longer. And this product is actually compared like royal jelly, you know, royal jelly, the supplement that people eat. But the problem with raw jelly is, you know, if you eat too much, then you might have some sugar problem later on, right? And uh, there is a certain peptide uh, that is really triggering our body to have that certain peptide to activate our anti-inflammation, mm. anti-stress, mm. and it will balance our autonomic nervous system. Yeah. So this is a must every day, one, uh, according to me, okay? Yeah. And then uh, this is, <laughs> is a super must, especially during this COVID season. I usually, when I travel, I use three of them. Uh, yesterday, I went to see my eye doctor, you know, yearly checkup, they put some vitamin and what have you. And I put it here and I put it here underneath this, right? And if I travel sometimes I put it on liver three because I wanna make sure that my liver is clean and being detox. This is the highest ever antioxidant. The reason I do not wanna get vaccinated so far, it is because Oh my God, this is a very touchy subject because the mRNA is just activating a certain genes and improving our immune system. And if it is only improving our immune system, I don't think there's any other thing that improved 300% on the glutathione, which is the master of our antioxidant. If you improve glutathione, then you will improve all your other antioxidant in the body. That's why, uh, you know, my daughter, when she was in, uh, in a school, she was the swimmer, uh, Olympic hopeful swimmer. And at that time, there are 27 kids. You know, Christina was ranked number 25 out of 27. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> so I said, Christina, let me improve your performance. So, you know, I put the Wonder Woman protocol and a couple of ice wave on the bladder meridian to make sure when she kicked. But the end of summer, she was ranked number one. I mean, that alone is already proof that you know it improved everything. I don't even know what it improved in her. The speed for sure is. And then according to her, it's like when she was underwater and she want to flip, she have that extra push, whatever that is, uh, when she do that. So, and one of them is definitely glutathione because glutathione will prevent you to have sunburn because when you have sunburn, the first 15 minutes, you have all the energy, but the next 15 minutes and next hour, you're running out of energy because your antioxidants are depleted, right? With this, you become mm -hmm. so strong, so powerful, and people just love it, right? And uh, again, you know, every day I use this. Uh, this one, I use seven days a week because in the research, if you use it seven days a week, many, many organs will be improved. You know, at my age, I want to see an improvement in many of my organs by 92%. If you use it five days, I think it will improve like 68. If you use it seven days, you improve 92 or 94, I forgot, but mm -hmm. in the 90s, right? So I choose to use it every day because it will detox me. It will give me the energy and it will clean me up and antioxidant, definitely. So. 
it's a must, it's a must, it's a must. And one other thing that I love is energy enhancer. Energy Enhancer was created literally the first product of LifeWay. This was created before LifeWay. Uh, when the product was sold to the US military, the Navy and the Navy SEALs and all the, you know, the US military, <clears throat> this was pretty much mandated so that the Navy, the Navy SEALs do not have to take the PAP pills anymore because PAP pills are nothing but sugars and caffeine, sugar and caffeine are not good for our body. When they are not good for our body, guess what happened? It gives you this bad side effect. Just like you drink coffee. You went to Starbucks in the afternoon after lunch, usually it's the sleepy hours, right? You drink your uh, Starbucks, you're energized. By the time you got home, you collapse in your sofa, you fall asleep. Mm. Because you go up, you crash. You go up, you crash. With this, it is a slow process, but when you place it, this is why live with our call acupuncture without needles, right? When it is acupuncture without needles is really great because we can pinpoint which meridian you want to open. And by placing this, okay, we tested, we have a clinical research, we burn fat to create the energy, okay? So I love it so much, uh, you know, like when before the COVID, I go to the gym, I do my electrical machine, I burn about 407, 410 calories in the digital readout, but actually I'm burning 600 because it's burning 23 to 42%, mm. right? I love it. This one is a must, especially even when you are using this, the most important product. This is our flagship now. This is what took my income became insane, right? This is the company that we have 20 years in patent, okay? Uh, we already gone one year, so you have 19 years to get busy and get rich, <laughs> okay? Uh, if you think all the patent office in America, I don't think they are dumb people, right? Really? Yep. They're smart people. But it took them 11 years to give the patent to LifeWay. Every year we patch them, we heal them. It's like, I don't understand this, David. We got to come back again next year. <laughs> Is 11 it? years. Yes, 11 years before this patent office. I think I understand now, David. <laughs> it is crazy. So it took them 11 years and all those 11 years, all the other scientists, all his friends said that he's a crazy idiot that, you know, I think that it's a scam. It is whatever they call it. It's all in the website. And uh, there was some, some bad story to that too. But uh, it took 11 years and the patent office, okay, I got it now. So that's why when we pull X39, I think less than a year, the patent office yeah. gave it to us right away. Yeah. And then that's why we are registered and we are patented. And it's been miraculous patch for all of us. I love X39. My skin, my, yeah, yeah. You know, I used to have a very bad skin because I used to play a lot of tennis before. And, you know, uh, with my son and all that and uh, all the, the burning of the skin. And when I was young, I'm popping my pimples. So I have a lot of crater here, but as you can see, I have a pretty clean face now, okay? So I love that. I love X39. X39 is the only technology, the only one on earth that we can literally count uh, even to get rid of pain. You know, I put it on a step 2B on this because step one is still Aeon when it comes to reducing pain. No mm -hmm. matter how you cut it, Aeon is still the best. When you reduce the pain with Aeon and then step two with Ice Wave, and some people are so sick readily that I have to put X39 on top of the ice wave round. Mm. When you do that in the last two years, my goodness, I patch maybe a thousand people that I get rid of all their pain. Mm. Uh, out of a thousand people, maybe 
maybe 11, 12, maybe let's say 20 people, mm. not more than 20 people that I have to put X39 on top of the ice wave round just to see how the pain gone, right? Mm. And I usually pull my application form after that. Okay, it's time to sign up now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to catch up with Brother Lee, Brother Lee, it's too fast. <laughs> so right? Awesome. Uh, so uh, I, I use a lot of that. And, and you know, we, we don't talk a lot about carnosine, okay? But carnosine is actually an amazing technology. Okay? Mm -hmm. You can find it in your brain, in your skeletal, and in your heart. Uh, I use this, I would say, four times a week, okay? Or maybe five times during the week, the weekdays. Mm -hmm. And uh, the placement, either I put it right here on CV-17 or I put it right here. Mm -hmm. And this will fire up all your cognitive function. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get old, you know, your memory is getting less. Your sharpness is getting less. Uh, you, when you talk to the younger generation, you cannot understand what they are saying because I noticed that in my mom. I said, like, mom, how come you don't understand that? So I did a brain protocol on her and then I put X39. You know, we have four brain protocol and when I put <laughs> X39 on her, she got wired up like crazy and the only bad side effect of that is my mom become a little bit, well, you know, well, uh, talkative. She became very talkative uh, talk a lot, ask question a lot, and she remember everything now, brother. It's <laughs> dangerous because she remember everything. She start asking me questions it's like, "Oh my god, that is the only bad side effect." Because my <laughs> mom become healthier, right? <laughs> and I, I love it because the product is just so amazing that we cannot live without it, right? And uh, I love it when I play badminton. I already know where to put it right there by bladder fifty seven. I either I put ice wave on the left. And then I put carnosine on the right. Then I can play all night long without cramping at all. I have no more cramp. Before, I cramp like crazy. I cramp here and cramp there. Like, oh my God, I hate it. I hate it. Mm. So Ice Wave is another product that I love so much because it reduces your pain. Mm. One thing that you have to understand how this thing works is the brown one is what we call the receptor of the pain. Mm. So where's the pain? The center of the pain, you put the brown one, bam. And that is the receptor of the pain. But we got to connect it to the brain. We got to use the white one as the transmitter of the pain. So you put it at 12, 3, 6, 9, right? Once mm. you put it, when they connect, boom, they send signal to your brain to produce endorphin, dopamine, canolin literally in a split second mm. that fast mm. and the pain was gone mm. uh <clears throat> i do not know how many miraculous things according to brother rick he's counting sixty nine thousand people i patched and it's like oh my god that's too many people but sixty nine thousand people were happier uh after you patched them you know brother alloy is hitting 2500 i think somewhere around there <laughs> right brother alloy and uh, we just have to patch people. Even uh, during pandemic, you know, I'm jogging with my dog. I carry Ice Wave and Eon in my jacket. Mm. I patch the whole neighborhood. I, I live on top of the hill. I go down the hill. Anybody, you know, I sometimes use my brain protocol when I'm jogging. So people are like, who's this crazy China man with all these patches on his head? Right? We have to be daring enough. So I always use my patches shown everywhere that people can see it. Why? Number one, it will improve your condition. Number two, people will ask. When I was in church, brother, the very first time I was a, a member of LiveWave, I put the patch right here, right? So when I said, praise the Lord, people, and I was sitting in the front right behind the pastor pulpit, and people are asking me, Brother Roy, is there anything I can pray you? It's like, how come suddenly everybody want to pray for me, right? It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> then I realize because I have this. People think that I'm very, very sick, especially when I put it here. They think that uh, it was the anti-smoking patch. Yeah, yeah. yeah the anti-smoking <laughs> patch. And I said like, okay, 
that's a good thing because it's an icebreaker. When it became an icebreaker, oh, let me tell you what had happened to me. You know, you want to use Chuck Michael system there. And then I was just blabbering mouth in the whole church. You know, I saved a guy, his name is Billy, Uncle Bill. Uh, he had a heart attack in the church, okay? So the pastor was panicked as the, as the pastor to call the 911. I ran to my car, pulled my 911 kit. I'm stop patching him a lot. And before, before the 911 arrived, he already woke up and walked around. And then he asked, who is that 911 uh, car come here for? I said, Billy, that's for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. It is, it is, yeah. Because, you know, we can save people from, you know, if I don't patch him, maybe he died. I don't know. Yeah. I, don't, I literally don't know. Yeah. So some people have that amazing quick uh, response like that. You know, I love it. But some people is just like so slow. Mm. You know, after you put two patch, three patch, four patch, like still, you know, I literally want to slap them, but you got to be polite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, when, when Mr. David... Uh, I, I think when Mr. David launched the carnosine and glutathione at the same time, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Do they get it at the same time? No, carnosine first. Oh, carnosine first. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So when they're launching carnosine and glutathione, what, what was the reason of their releasing this product? Did, 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 did he mention that time? Yes, uh, actually, uh, when it comes to Aeon, uh, Susan Summers, who is the, our ambassador, she said, David Smith, this is an amazing product, but you know that a lot of people are stressed nowadays. A lot of people are in flame, you know, so it took David about almost a year to create Eon. Oh, so Eon, year. yeah, Eon was introduced. Yeah, I like about 14 months, maybe. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So it was pretty fast. So uh, that is why uh, this product was, was introduced. And uh, it was amazing how this technology became available to many, many of us, right? Okay, yeah, maybe you can share with us about your mother osteoporosis. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, think it, I, I, I think it was shock quite a lot of people. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, basically osteoporosis, uh, you know, like, like anything with, with uh, when you grow old, okay? Once you grow old, your body are experiencing many different inflammation, many different lacking of a certain hormone, lacking of a certain antioxidant. Mm. So my mom have high blood pressure, right? Yeah. So that's why I put uh, energy enhancer on kidney one and heart three for her. So she doesn't have to take any more medication. Mm. Lo and behold, my mom is a person who are super active. Mm. She is not like the old grandma sitting down, knitting. No, she, is, <laughs> she can be on the phone for a long time. She can read her Bible for a long time, pray for a long time. But when she's on the move, oh my goodness, she's thinking, okay, I think I want to warm up my water first. I think I want to cut my banana. Oh, the apple is in the refrigerator. Did I lock that door in the front? I think Roy is about to come home. I mean, like five, six, seven, eight, nine things were well in her brain. So her body are moving like crazy and she fall down so easily because of that. She is not like a calming person. She always have to think something. So I keep telling her, mom, you're old. Please don't fall. But no matter what I said, she always fall. <laughs> it's like, I was like, and then the last time, I think before Aloysius came here, she fell pretty bad. Okay, my house if from the garage, there is a hallway. You pass the first room, and then you pass your theater room, and then you pass to the mud room, and then there's a kitchen on the side. My mom flew from the hallway all the way to the kitchen. That is far. She was holding an apple and a knife. I said, oh, Jesus, she's going to crack. And I heard that big crack. I heard it. I said, oh, my God, she broke it. You know, I knew she's going to break it, right? 
And I look at her, huh, still in pain. I put a lot of patch on her, get it off uh, a few of them right away. And I cannot even pull her up because she's screaming in pain. So I got a patch her while on the kitchen floor until she feel better. And then I bring her to her spot. You know, she have a certain chair, a certain spot in our uh, family room, theater family room. And uh, so she sit down there. So I check, are you okay, mom? Any other painful thing that is unbearable that you cannot stand it? I mean, like when, when you crack a bone, you're gonna have crazy pain. You know that, right? Yes. So she said like, huh. I think mommy, okay, la. okay, la. wow, that is like, okay, that's good. So, you know, okay, that's fine. And then I put a couple of ice wave on her kidney one, another pair on heart three, and that's the night, okay? So tomorrow morning, I check on her. She had no pain. I'm like, hmm, she do not crack her bone, although she flew that far, that high so i'm thinking like what in the world happened so my conclusion when it comes to you know the brittle of your bones you need to energize your kidney one mm. if you energize your kidney because kidney is the most important organ in chinese medication all right if we energize our kidney one it will go all over the body and because of that, she doesn't have a broken bones. Mm. And I know she has a couple other patches in her body, but kidney one and heart three are the most important thing that she uses each and every day. Because mm. with three medication, okay, in the morning and afternoon and at night, her blood pressure was 160, 170, over 9510. Scary time bomb. Mm. We changed this, the doctor changed that, and then still pretty much the same. And then I'm start putting patches. It went down, it went down. When Aeon came out, oh my goodness, it went down way too low to about 85 over 55. So like, mom, that's too low. So use it like every other day. And then the XD9 came out, it became even lower. So we have to gauge how much you want to patch yourself by checking yourself. Uh, but now she's under control. She know her schedule. She know where to patch. She would spend like 15 minutes before she come down, patching all these things and make her healthy. Yeah. So that is how amazing that was. Wow. This is cool. Yeah. This is cool. Yes. This is cool. And uh, uh, did, did anyone of you want to see Brother Roy Hauser? <laughs> Anyone want to want brother Roy to tour tour around his house? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> How do I tour that? Oh my goodness! Yeah, uh, I'm gonna uh, bring my laptop. <laughs> can? Is it convenient? Uh, I'll send picture in the group lah. Because oh. it's inconvenient, I gotta, you know, it's a little bit inconvenient. It's a convenient. Yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a little bit inconvenient. Yeah, but I'll send you the the picture. Yeah, brother yeah. Alo saw my house. He stayed in my house. <laughs> so next time you come to America, stay in my house, brother. Lee. Oh, right, 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 yeah, right, right. We have seven bedroom, seven bathroom, right. theater. Uh, and no, no. Uh, uh, not only me, we will bring a bunch of founders. <laughs> founders, we are, we are coming. How many founders you guys have now? Uh, I think it's about 12. About 12. Wow, wow, wow. That's great. Yeah. Okay. 12, I might not have room. But <laughs> unless you awesome, want to put awesome. it in, in two room, but you know, uh, it's crazy. It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful house. Uh, this one I built with all live wave money. Yeah, this I is have... the reason I want them to show what kind of income can live wave generate for you. Can even build a house with that. <clears throat> uh, my income in one week is the income of. Actually, it's even more the income of regular people that work here in America in US dollar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's I don't think I can see. I, I see okay. 330 people that is very dangerous. Yeah. So I say <laughs> I but, do not know. 
Yeah. Maybe there's somebody in the company that Roy, you said it. I said, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. Cool. So cool. it's income, crazy income. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, 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 for for those who are working on on this business. For my personal feelings, yeah, uh, I can even say that my income right now, okay, is even higher than my boss of the boss when I was working. So you see, <laughs> me, the twenty-three years old. Is my income is even higher than whoever the CEO is, uh, and while doing something that you like by patching only zero technical knowledge, is wonderful. It's really wonderful. And uh, any one of you want a uh, 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 would 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 want to see how Brother Roy do the protocol, teach us how to do the demo step by step. Type the word demo. Type the word demo. Any one of you hope we can we can have some. Guidance from Brother Roy, step by step, doing the demo. All right, okay, but then uh, I I don't want to take too much of your time, Brother Roy. I think we will schedule again, maybe sometime. No, next. it's okay. Is, no, okay? it's okay. Let let me let me share this real quick. All right. So right. no matter what the problem is, including osteoporosis, yeah, you want to start Eon at the back of your neck. Right. Okay. Once you start in on the back of your neck, you will open all your meridian. And the reason we love GV14, because six big meridian line go past that. Okay. So six meridian go past that. You put extra, I mean, A on there, people will feel the difference right away. Right. Right. And then you want to ask them, where is the center of your pain? If he is she healthy, you put one A on. Oh my goodness, I love it. I feel it. And that's it. You're done. But some people are not very healthy. You got all this kind of disease. And then you want to put ice weight. Right? You put the brown one in the center of the pain. You put the white one at 12, 3, 6, 9. Right? And let's say at six o'clock is the best connection. It reduced the pain quite tremendously because the white and the brown, the acceptor and the transmitter connect, they send signal to the brain. And within second, the pain is being reduced because dopamine, cannula, endorphin are being sent. Boom. And if, like I said, in the last two years, I just used these three steps. Mm. You put the X39 on top of the Ice Wave Brown Brotherly. Yeah. No more pain. And people look at me like very funny. Uh, if you watch my, I think I sent it to the group. I, I went to my dentist, I think last week, I think. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think uh, three weeks ago, when, when, when we were in the meeting, Asia Council, <laughs> you were in the dentist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> And it was crazy because I came there. Uh, I think after that, I came back because I recruit my dentist, right? So when I do business, either dentist, either the electrician, whoever that I do business with, I want to scratch your back while you scratch mine. Literally like that. You know, that's why I have many hair cutter. I have many electrician that became my friend. I have many... Uh, Dentist that became my friend and everybody become member. This dentist was a little bit hard headed. I don't want to kind of show off my income, but it kind of pissed me off a little bit because he think that he make more money than me. And I think even my engineering makes more money than him. But, you know, I don't want to brag about income. Right. So one day I came back to him. I said, son, of God. I said, Dr. Lee, do you know what kind of money I make in life? You know, I just want to ask. And he think like, oh, I think you make maybe about 10,000 a month. That is a very good guess. That is because once you make $10,000 a month in our marketing, you are considered quite successful. Right, oh, Bradley? Is it? Is yeah. $10,000 a month. Yeah, you are very really successful. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I told uh, Dr. Lee, I said, oh, the same Lee, uh, Dr. Hunfully. I said, Dr. Hunfully. That I make in about maybe two days. He looked at me like, what? Yeah. 
I said, seriously? And that day, uh, it was uh, a Tuesday. So I pulled my, 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 my back office and I showed them, right? Actually, uh, that I already hit 25,000. I already hit 25,000 in two days, right? So here, Dr. Lee, this is my money from Monday till today. And he was looking at me, is that real money? Okay, now you look how much, okay? Now take care of my teeth. So he took care of my teeth an hour, two hours later. And then I show him again. And it's already 27,000, okay? So I said, look, how much is this? And he was like, and I woke him up because of that. <clears throat> So sometimes you do not want to go that way, but I hate it if I have to go that way. I do yeah. not want to show people all my money, you know? Right, right. Uh, but sometimes some hard-headed people like that, you really have to show and tell. And then he, he signed up. And last Tuesday, I was there again. Uh, they have to adjust my, you know, they put braces on, for my bottom teeth. And uh, I was patching somebody who had pain for 32 years. I thought it was 21, but actually it was 32 years. And she was crying because I got rid of her pain that was mission impossible. He, she tried to even to a voodoo doctor. So she went to a voodoo doctor and, and tried to get over pain. Yeah. And still cannot. So I was, I don't even use this, brother. I only use this too. What the most? The pain. She had a car accident when she was young. So her body is like misaligned all over the place. Mm -hmm. She had pain in her shoulder, in her back, in the sciatica nerve, and on her uh, hips, right? So Eon, I put it on, drink water. How's your pain? Her name is Yolanda. I said like, wow, I think my pain went down to five. And she started crying a little bit. I said, drink more water, and then I put the ice waves. So among all these things you tell me, tell me where's the most pain. She put it right there around bladder, I don't know, around the back, around the buttocks area. Then I put it there, ice wave brown. I put it at three o'clock, the white one, I'm guessing. So I said, stand up, drink more water. Now you walk toward the door and come back. And she cried like a little baby to the husband. And then she's speaking Spanish, da 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 da, porque this and porque that. Porque is why. Uh -huh. Why my pain is not here anymore. Right? It's crazy. So yeah. she cried. And then Prisca, the wife of the dentist, cried together with her. And then the secretary came. Everybody cried like a funeral. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So people happy. And then I signed her up before she left. And uh, I hope she's already using the product now. So that is how amazing our technology is. It always works. I also saw Brother Alloy patching people left and right. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It's unbelievable, brother. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think I haven't go to the extent, but I think I'm going to start soon. I'm going <laughs> to bring Eon Iceway everywhere, and then I'm going to start patching like that. You know, my, my suggestion in Malaysia, Yeah. Uh, I do not know whether you still have yellow pages or not. Uh, I don't have. Uh, 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 it still can be bought. You can still, and then you you can still look even even online. You can see it, right? Yellow pages. Yeah. And then you want to cover a certain area where there's a lot of medical buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you go crazy, I did that. I was so crazy. I did that. Yeah. Me three, with three of my friends, and then we did that. We approach, and then we just have to go over the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper yeah. usually the hardest part. But when we talk to the doctor, they're open-minded. Oh, my God. One doctor you get out of that complex, the whole building will be yours. Right. It's how, how that goes. Speaking about that, uh, remember the time when, 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 uh, when I met you in the Philippines? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. I remember. So yes. I brought over one doctor, the Dr. Mengkau. Yeah, I remember I him. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I walked four buildings, four buildings, uh -huh. just to get that one person to come. Wow. And then she signed up, but now, uh, uh, but, but she is over 70 over years old. But she, she uh -huh. didn't continue the business. But this is, this is something that uh, uh, I, I also want you to, to share. During that time, I think you are 
also already a multi-millionaire, right? Because of your engineering company. Yes. Why would you still want to, you know, lower down yourself and go to door to door to do all these kind of sales? Uh, what was the thing that okay. in your mind to, 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 to be able to do that? Right. I'm the type of person that, you know, when I do something, I want to do all out massive action. Mm. You know, like in uh, martial arts, in badminton, in piano, and in everything. You know, when I learn something, I want to do it to the max. Mm. When I was playing tennis, I was the team captain when I was at USC. And uh, I like that. And then in life wave, you know, uh, when I met you in the Philippines, I think I already hit, I hit 25,000, I think already, but do not hit constantly every week, right? Mm. Right now it's every week. Mm. It's like a for sure thing. Mm. Uh, I was building it a little bit too slow compared to all the new leaders that you see around the world after X39. <laughs> uh, but I was enjoying myself because I have a certain uh adoration when i felt when i put a patch on someone and i was able to literally make him feel better you know like the lady uh, i patched a week ago at the dentist's office that worth over a million dollar to me right you know yeah, yeah. so it, it is a blessing that i was able to help people and I kind of enjoy it when I'm helping people and see them, how they become better. And some of them become like you. I'm, I'm very exciting to see you, Brother Lee. You're amazing. <laughs> you are an amazing guy. You are, you know, you guys in Malaysia, you have no idea. You have a leader like Brother Lee. He's like one in a million kind of people because, <laughs> you know, to figure it out and follow my footstep is not the easiest thing to do because... I'm pretty crazy. So I told everybody, all my leaders, you want to make normal money? You work normal. Huh? You do normal thing. You want to make crazy money like me? You got to do a little bit crazier. And then once you're comfortable with crazier, then make it a little bit more crazier and be innovative. Be innovative and share your knowledge to all your leaders. Once you share your knowledge, people get it and they're going to run with you hand in hand. I appreciate you when you show up in the Philippines, brother. Right, we took right, a picture. Right. I, the picture that we took, they were in Malaysia, right? The one that you make invitation today. Uh, was that in the restaurant that we ate? No, no. Uh, we in the what? Uh, uh, start with M. What, what hotel? Ma, uh, ma, mega, what? Ma, Masagro Hotel. Uh, I, I forgot what was it already. Oh, not. I always stay at the Hilton since I know you. Uh, Oh, you, you mean when, when you were in Malaysia? Yeah, when I was in Malaysia, right? Yeah, yeah, in Houston. Yeah, you're in Houston. Houston right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, okay just, just for everyone, information. Uh, okay, maybe, brother, you can let them know now, every day you do how many BOP? <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the very beginning, I do eight BOP. <laughs> yeah, I was in different country every day until like, oh my God. I can't even do my engineering because people are searching. When I came back from Indonesia, March 9, that is when the COVID gets started. And then brother Aloysius and I like, we gotta do Zoom, we gotta do Zoom. And we don't even have a clue what the heck is Zoom, <laughs> right? So uh, we, we learn as much as we know how, and then we just move forward. Yeah. And uh, we have brother Aloysius, we have my leader brother Lorenzo here. And uh, we, we've been blessed. We've been blessed because we have so many great leaders that is also learning together as the condition of the COVID going on. Mm. Uh, and then we improve. And I know we, we've been doing Google meeting as well with you. And now you're going, you're going to Zoom, which is great. Yeah. And uh, it's been amazing. It has been an amazing event. And we just love it. We just love it. And uh, it's been a blessing because... If you want to move forward in doing this business, you don't have to know it all, but you got to know how to do Zoom, how mm. to do BOP, how to share. And I love your video, Brother Lee. I kind of look at it, although I don't understand because you speak Chinese. <laughs> I said, okay. Brother Lee's talking about Eon. Oh, he's talking about Carnestine. So X39. That is great. Yeah. And I think I should do that, you know, make video clips 
and yeah. then send it to a lot of people like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I know I've been videotape left and right, especially Brother Lorenzo. He love videotaping, and uh, it's been amazing. Okay, right. it's been an amazing journey. It's definitely worth it. The money part is really paying off, and you know uh, I'm 60 years old. And I, I don't feel like 60 at all, you know. I was playing badminton again uh, two weeks ago when my son was here. Yeah. And I was a little bit kaku, huh? a little bit kaku. I haven't played for two years. But after seven games, you know, I think on the fourth game, we pick up and we start winning. Because the first three games, a la kala habis, everybody smashed me like, I do not even feel it yet. But on the fourth game, I said, Josh, okay, Josh, I got it. Let's play. <laughs> so we, we are really chasing. But I think I overdid it because I'm super patched. I had Superman protocol. I had ice wave left. And I think I used like 16 patch that day. Yeah. I don't feel the pain. I play seven games. I go back home, took a shower. And, you know, some of the shower, they came off, right? When they came off, I sit down on the sofa. Whoa, I start feeling the, the old pain. So I'm patching myself and I slept and it feel good the next morning. We have the secret weapon each and every day in our life that we can place it on us and life will be wonderful. Seriously, life will be wonderful. And, you know, no and if buts, but if you use this technology, not only that you're going to be healthy, you're going to be strong, pain-free. I remember when I woke up, I always had pain. I remember those days. I said, oh my God, painful, painful, painful. Now I wake up, I jump, brush my teeth. Like this morning, I woke up before my alarm bus and you know, I'm brushing my teeth and then I'm ready for you guys. It's been an amazing day. I'm, I'm exciting. Today, later, I have a BOP, brother. I have a real life BOP tonight wow. because I recruit a new Indonesian group in Los Angeles. Ah. And uh, she is so exciting. And tonight I'm gonna do real BOP. I'm gonna post it after the <laughs> after the BOP. It's not much, not too many people. Maybe like ten or fifteen. But you know, you gotta start somewhere because that one person will change your life. Mm. Think about it. If you got somebody like Brother Lee, oh mm. my God, <laughs> done, I, Brother Lee. I wanna thank you ser seriously for all your hard work. I really appreciate this. Uh, very very much. Um, I, I also want to say thank you and luckily uh, I think you have been coming to Malaysia for quite many of the years and yes. then you don't really find people and yet you still continue every year one, two times continuously. Yes, yes, yes. Remarkable. Need, <laughs> yeah. And it's been a blessing to meet you, brother. It's been yeah. a blessing to me. Sometimes it takes so many visits, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Indonesia, how many visits? Until I found Brother Aloy. Brother Aloy, 10 years before he decided to join me. I said, Brother Aloy! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now he wake up. You know, it, it sometimes it takes that kind of... Brother Lorenzo already quit, actually. Because he was in the wrong leg. He didn't do it for two, three years. And then I was just following up, following up, following up. <clears throat> until he decided, okay, this is the right, right deal. So, you know, we raise all this great, great warrior because of our consistency, our persistency. Never give up attitude and keep on going. You'll find somebody like Aloysius, like Brother Lee, like Brother Lorenzo, like Brother Rick. You know, you find this in different countries. Mm. You know, like I opened Singapore. The same thing with Brother Daniel Lim. How many mm -hmm. times I went to Singapore? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. So it takes it takes a while before you find your true eagle warrior. Once you find it, life's gonna be tremendous. But of course, you gotta coach them. You gotta train them. So remember when we were in a hotel, you were asking so many different questions. It was fun. Uh, for me, it was a really a really joy, and it, it is fun to work together with you. And yeah. I love the. The Musang King durian. We ate Musang King. Where was that? I love that. Oh, that was so good. We were there eating with Susie. And uh, I hope sooner or later, I, either I can meet you in USA or you can meet me yes. in Malaysia. Definitely. Definitely. That's a must. Yeah. 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 If, if you come to USA, I'll take care of you. Right. Oh no. We'll, we'll go take places. Care us. You take care of ah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us, 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 us. <laughs> Definitely us. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. I think we will call it a, a, a day and okay. then uh, hopefully maybe uh, maybe uh, every one or two months time, 
I will sure. arrange a new topic with you. Definitely. Right. All right. Thank you, Father Roy. Thanks for coming. You are welcome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank have you, a Father great Roy. day. Have a good night there, right? Huh? Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Roy. Yeah. Have a great day, Father Lorenzo. Thank you so much. Bye, Angie. Bye, everyone. Okay. Thank Thank you, Father Lorenzo. Thank you, Father Aloy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh. Uh. So just to sum up something. So I I just want all the members to understand these things. Uh. You see, some sometimes uh, um, if you don't improve, you will deteriorate. There is no something called maintain. I have go through a cycle where I see a little bit of money and I try to slow it down and the money slow down as well. So it <laughs> takes really consistent effort to keep on doing, doing something consistently. And some member will, will uh, they will ask me, when can I stop working? And then my answer is, you shouldn't look for an answer when you can stop working. You should look for the answer, when can I start to enjoy the thing that I'm doing without feeling that it is a work? So like what I'm doing right now, I learn every day, I patch every day, uh, uh, when I do BOP as strategic consultation, to me, it's no longer a work. And this is something, the, 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 the limitation that stops many people from really achieving greatness. Once you found the work, become your passion, become it's like a, 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 a running in the blood, you will mm -hmm. find that life way is such an easy business. And every morning when I wake up, I keep on thinking, if, if Mr. Luke never bring me to Brother Roy two years ago, I'm still doing and an, I'm still being an engineer, look, uh, <laughs> listening to my manager, telling something that I don't think he is right, and I'm still trying to argue. <laughs> and it doesn't make any meaningfulness in 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 my life. So I, I I'm really glad every day I say what well, even I'm 28 this year and then I can meet such a wonderful team. I have a wonderful company, wonderful product, and definitely the future is getting brighter and brighter. Okay, so so this summarize everything, and I hope we all can learn something from Brother Roy that no matter even you have hit become a multi-millionaire, you still have to go back to the square one and start everything to learn the new things. And uh, I think Brother Roy uh, 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 previously don't have Zoom as well. She's 60 years old. She do Zoom meeting every day. Learn everything, all the technological things. Even he himself do all the design of the posters. <laughs> it's something, it's the spirit that uh, uh, we should put it back in our blood as a library warrior. Okay, yes. so uh, uh, so that's all for today. And uh, uh, good night, everybody. Let me, yeah. one more thing, brother. Okay, come, brother. Come, come, come. Let me add one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like the way you brought it up that uh, once you enjoy your work, yeah, that is what I, you know, I enjoy my work because yeah. I can see how people feel better right. and how I have helped so many people from so many diseases. Yeah. And uh, that become a passion. Yeah. You have to have this passion within you. Once yeah. you have this passion within you, it will transform in your work. Yeah. And then uh, it will materials in your things that you do every day. Yeah. Uh, you cannot stop yet. Even at my level, I, I can literally stop right now because you guys are going to run. But <laughs> I really enjoy this so much. Yeah. So right. that's why I, I, I want to become a blessing. You know, I almost died 2012 and I believe the Lord saved me. So I have chances to kind of help other people with this technology so you gotta love what you do don't think about retirement yet and brother alloy told me that i cannot retire yet until he became millionaire <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh i said i agree i agree because i enjoy my work and you know i really enjoy traveling i want to go to asia but unfortunately because of covid they don't let me uh, Australia do not let me in, Indonesia do not let me in. So I said, okay, we'll wait for the right time. Yeah. When the right time, we'll, we'll meet again. We're going to have fun and we're going to build these things together. And, 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 I, I, and, and I really can't wait to introduce all my leaders to you. We have two presidential directors right now. <laughs> we have two executive director. Even NG became the top earner as an executive director globally. Wow, NG! And yesterday, wow. we have the first Malay in Malaysia, become the first ever director mm -hmm. in Asia, Malay. Wow, 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 wow. There are so many things that, well, I, I think for this past one year, a lot of things that I can't wait to share with you and the, those, those leaders in the, in, in the States.
Sounds good, brother. It sounds right. good. Amazing, amazing. So we're looking forward to work together with you guys. Okay. Never give up. Never give up on LiveWave because we are LiveWave warriors. Yeah. We do not retreat. Mm. We reload. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, brother. Right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Sure.